Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Play Designer, and in this video, we're going to talk about everything new in free update 1.8 you are getting next to the Europe pack. But quickly, before we jump into it, let us thank our fantastic sponsor of the channel, Instant Gaming. At Instant Gaming, you can get your most favorite games with up to 70, sometimes even 90% discount. If you use the link in the description down below, you will get an amazing discount, and you will also be supporting the channel. So whether you're looking for a discount on Planet Zoo, The Sims, City Skylines, Jurassic World Evolution, or any other game, go and check out the link down in the description. So the first thing we're going to talk about are these burrows. Now these burrows can be used by Artforks if you have the base game, and if you also have the Euro pack, these burrows can also be used by badgers in your game. Now burrows will be used buy animals uh, as a place to seek shelter, sleep, adjust to their correct temperature, or even give birth. Now, I don't dare to click this one to move it around. Uh, there's no uh, occupant, so I can actually. Uh, so yeah, you can move this one uh, around and place this wherever you want it to be in your zoo. And uh, yeah, it comes with like this, um, this big hole into the ground. You can enter camera view, well obviously there now is no badger in here, but you can enter it and then sometimes you see the animals uh, sleeping right over here or doing uh, whatever else they do, I have no idea yet. Well, they can even give birth, so that is really cool obviously. And you can also uh, connect this one with billboards, so I did place one down right over here. And well, if there is any animal inside of here or coming inside of here, you can see the same footage right over here on the billboard. So that is really cool. And you can uh, click it by just uh, going to this little camera icon and then just click what uh, burrow you want to see. I'm not really sure what the second one is, what kind of animal that is supposed to be. If there is another burrow in this habitat, I actually am not really sure. Doesn't really matter, but it's really cool to see that you are able to connect these burrows with billboards in your zoo. Now, obviously, this free update 1.8 doesn't come only with some burrows. There is a lot of other stuff. These are climbing branches that are coming with the free update as well. They look absolutely fantastic. We even got these uh, climbing bridges that look really amazing, which you can obviously recolor. There is a, a different version, I actually I can't remember the name of it, it's a, a rubbing pad, that's it. Uh, so there is a tree bark rubbing pad right over here, which actually looks really cool if you ask me, I do really like that. And there are two more climbing platforms right over here, matching more with these colors. I really love it that we got some more variations right over here, so uh, that is really, really cool. And then we go to these shop counters something that i really absolutely love the only thing that we're still missing in my opinion are gift shops i really do hope that that is something that will be added in a later stage as well actually with the first video i did not realize that it was only food and drink shops at this case uh, at this update but yeah i really do hope that we will get these really really cool shop counters as well in the future for some gift shops. So you can really create some really awesome gift shops from the inside as well, because uh, yeah, th this is just really, really cool. And uh, I love the little details right over here on the counters. They look absolutely fantastic. Really, really love these guys. And then we go to restaurants. Now, uh, I'm a little bit surprised how big <laughs> these restaurants actually are. So they come along with this really cool kitchen. I do really like that. They have this black box right over here. So what basically happens is that guests just come in here and uh, uh, they talk to uh, this guy right over here. And then they walk through right over here. And then if you have some uh, tables connected, and those are these two tables, which you can also recolor, obviously. And then they will basically just spawn right over here and just sit and eat whatever uh, you have on your menu right over here. Uh, so yeah, you can, you can pick 
whatever you want right over here. You can link the tables, as I just said. These tables do not have to be on a path, uh, which make them actually a little bit more versatile with this black box. The first time I, I saw this, I was like, hmm, I'm not really sure about this black box and then the gas just appearing on these tables. But it actually gives you a lot more freedom to do so. So as an example, this is a restaurant building at that frontier place down in this time scenario. And I was looking at it like, hmm, where, where are the tables and the chairs then? So when you uh, go and click here, there are eight uh, tables linked right now. And then you can see right over here, there is a building and they just added these ones, not even on a floor. Like there, I, I don't think there is a path even. So these are just roof pieces and you can put down these picnic benches, or picnic benches, these tables and chairs right on top of here. There's another floor even. Uh, yes, there's, there's another floor here. And I was looking like, where is the connection? But there is no connection. So you can have the freedom to have like a restaurant and have people sit down here and eating um, while they while you don't have to worry about how to connect it with the restaurant. And I think that's actually really cool, even though it might not feel super realistic. It gives you a lot more freedom um, to do things. So I, I think I do like the way how restaurants are being built. But yeah, definitely something to keep in mind how these restaurants work. And, and they just uh, go the same, of course, like how you do that with the um, seating areas for the uh, animal show. So for the animal talking points, I should say. Uh, so yeah, they, they work the same and you just select them and then they are linked to this restaurant. So another thing that comes along with the free update are these memorial signs. Now, I do not have any uh, animal that has passed away yet, so I can't really uh, select one. But you can, if animals uh, die in your zoo, you can select them uh, to show up on these little signs. These are my, uh, my old cat names that all passed away. That was the only thing I could think of. But yeah, you can customize these yourself and uh, just write down every information that you want uh, want there to be like obviously on the sign it only says uh, the name I think the rest are is all in a Planko language um, so yeah it, it's you see the name and if you click it then you see more information uh, but yeah it, it's actually really nice and this one is a little billboard so if you have any, you, you don't have to use it as a memorial sign. That is basically what I'm trying to say. You can do it. Um, you can then, uh, where was that again? You can upload, uh, replace the image. You can upload it to any small little billboard as well, which is actually really cool. So it's basically an extra billboard, but you can also use it as a memorial sign, whatever you want it, uh, want to use it for. So that is really, really neat. And with the free update, you are also getting a bunch of new smaller signs, which are actually very useful. I really do hope that we are getting smaller signs as well for the other shops that we are having in the game. But I really do love it that we get these really small signs of all the shops that we have in the game. Now, this thing is actually very, very interesting thing. These are eggs. Like, um, hello, eggs. You mean you can paint them? Uh, <laughs> but even was like, mm, is this maybe a hint to an aviaries pack? I really don't know. I really don't know. I, it could also for me just mean like, okay, you're not getting an aviaries pack, so we're just gonna give you a bunch of eggs. I really don't know, but I, I do love it that we got some, some decorative egg props. I think that's really cool and definitely for all your bird habitats, it's a really nice little feature to decorate them with. Um, there's no bird's nest in there, so I think you should use the uh, hay beddings. Um, but yeah, it, it could be a hint. I really don't know. I really don't know. Don't pin me on it, okay? <laughs> I hope he's right. I hope he's right, definitely. Uh, but yeah, free prop eggs to decorate your zoo with. Uh, now, here are some... Um, a lot of new festive lights that you are getting with the free update as well. These are all uh, <laughs> upside down, of course, but you uh, you know how they all work. And you can obviously also uh, recolor those 
And you also have this separate light bulb if you、uh, want to use it for anything else. There are a lot of small little items in both the DLC、uh, and right over here、uh, in this、uh, free update as well. So that is really really cool. Uh, so right over here we have a bunch of free trees and bushes.、Uh, so we have the、uh, level pine trees. We have some grape vines with also some grape、um, items right over here. And then we have right over here the periwinkle flowers and leaves. Uh, so these are really nice. And then you have the dog rose bush. Also being added in the free update、uh, 1.8, and then it looks like these are for the base game. I actually started to doubt it a little bit because these are for rocks, so these could potentially also be added freely in the aquatic pack. But they do have the base game tag, so I think. These rocks are added in the base game,、uh, which are I, I think these are the small rocks that we already have with the natural rocks. But then these can be recolored, so I think that is actually really nice to have in the game as well. Some、uh, extra faux rocks to use, and some ugh, some really small ones. I do really love that. So that is really really great. And then, of course, we have the new path texture one that is definitely going to be my favorite. Really love this stone one. The curbs are absolutely beautiful, and the railing definitely classical. I、uh, really do love this path. Also coming for you with the free update 1.8. And last but not least, something that I also really love that they are adding. Like basically, I, I probably did not put down. All the items, but basically almost all the wall sets now have these non-grid pieces, all being two meters. So this is definitely like in limestone. I always use the trims and stuff to to close it off. Really love it. Like for for basically all the base game sets, you now have these two meter wide non-grid pieces. And also, even even made this whole list、uh, for me for the free update overview because he is just so good and recognizing everything. He's such a hero. So thank you so much again for that whole list. This really is amazing. But he also says like many more items in just in general in the base game are all recolorable. So definitely go and and check out. Like I I can't really. I don't every day, but there there are a lot of more. I like the statues, for example, classic statues are all recolorable.、Uh, there there are a lot of a lot more items in the game now recolorable. So that is all just coming in the free update one point eight. Definitely worth to check out、uh, some fantastic、uh, new things, restaurants, shop counters,、uh, new. Uh, enrichment items and climbing frames. I think this absolutely is a fantastic new free update. Just update your game and you are free to go. Now, do let me know what you guys think of free update 1.8 with all this awesome stuff that Frontier is adding for free into the game. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye, guys.